In this video, we're going to focus on adding and subtracting integers. But in the first half, we're just going to focus on adding integers. Let's start with something simple. What is 3 plus 5? Intuitively, you know what the answer is. But let's say if you didn't know what to do. Here's what you can do. You can use a number line to help you add and subtract numbers. So let's say this is 0. And we're going to start with 3. So start with the first number. Anytime you need to add, travel on the right using the number line. If you need to subtract, then uh, move towards the left. So we wish to add 5 to 3. So we have to travel 5 spaces to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's where we ended at. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Let's work on another example. 4 plus 3. So if we start with 4, and if we travel 3 spaces to the right, this is going to be 5, 6, 7. So therefore, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. And so using a number line is very helpful whenever you need to add or subtract two integers. Here's another example. What is 8 plus negative 5? By the way, 8 plus negative 5 is equivalent to 8 minus 5. If you wish to add a negative number, start with the first number, 8. Add in a negative number, you need to travel towards the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So 8 plus negative 5 is positive 3. That's the same as 8 minus 5, which will give you the same answer. Now what about this one? What is 7 plus negative 2? Feel free to pause the video and try that. So if we start with 7, all we need to do is travel two spaces to the left. So this is 6 and this is 5. 7 plus negative 2 is the same as 7 minus 2, which is 5. A positive times a negative will give you a negative sign. If you multiply two positive signs, this will give you a positive number. If you multiply two negative numbers, you will get a positive number. But if you multiply a positive and a negative together, it will give you a negative number. Let's work on some more examples. What is negative 6 plus 4? And what is negative 7 plus 8? So take a minute and pause the video and work on those examples. So I'm going to use the number line technique once more. So let's say negative 6 is on the left. We need to add 4 to it. So we got to travel 4 spaces to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. So therefore, negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. By the way, you can reverse the numbers if you want. Negative 6 plus 4 is the same as positive 4 minus 6. But you don't have to put the positive in front. Now, 4 minus 6, intuitively, you can see that this is going to be negative 2. Now, what about negative 7 plus 8? That's equal to 8 minus 7, which is going to be positive 1. But let's use the number line to confirm it. So let's start with negative 7, and let's travel 8 units to the right, since we're adding 8 to negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1. So negative 7 plus 8 is positive 1. Go ahead and try these. Negative 7 plus negative 5 and negative 3 plus negative 4. So what is negative 7 plus negative 5? When you're adding two negative numbers, you're going to get a negative number as well. 7 plus 5 is 12, 
negative 7 plus negative 5, that's going to be negative 12. But let's confirm it using a number line. So we're going to start with negative 7, and we're going to add negative 5 to it. So if you're adding a negative number, you need to move towards the left. If you're adding a positive number, you need to travel towards the right. So let's travel 5 units to the left. This is negative 6, negative 5, negative 4. Actually, I take that back. To the left, the negative numbers should be getting bigger. This is negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, negative 12. So that's our answer. Now, if 3 plus 4 is positive 7, negative 3 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 7. But now let's start with uh, negative 3, and let's add negative 4 to it. So let's travel 4 units to the left. So this is negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Sometimes you may need to add 3 numbers as opposed to 2 numbers. So what is 5 plus negative 3 plus 6? 5 plus negative 3, that's equal to positive 2. If you have a number line, and if you start with 5, you need to travel 3 units to the left. So going this way, that's going to take you to positive 2. Next, we need to add 2 and 6. So we have to travel 6 units to the right, starting from 2. So this will take us to 8. 2 plus 6 is 8. If you count it, this is starting from 2. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 plus 6 is 8. And that's the final answer. Here's another similar example. What's negative 7 plus 4 plus negative 5? Negative 7 plus 4, that's going to be negative 3. And negative 3 plus negative 5, whenever you're adding two negative numbers, you're going to get a negative result. So think of 3 plus 5, which is 8, but just add a negative sign to it. So it's negative 8. Now let's use the number line to confirm everything. So we're going to start with negative 7, and we're going to add 4 to it. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3. So we're currently at negative 3 at this point. And then we're going to add negative 5 to it. So we got to go back 5 units uh, that way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the final answer is negative 8. Now let's focus on subtracting integers. What is 8 minus 3? So if you're subtracting, you need to travel towards the left. Let's start with the first number, 8. Now we're going to travel 3 spaces to the left. This is 7, 6, 5. So 8 minus 3 is positive 5. And it's just that simple. So let's try 4 minus 9. So we're going to start with positive 4. And we're going to travel 9 spaces towards the left. 1, 2, 3. The 0 makes 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So notice that we ended at negative 5. So 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Now what is negative 3 minus 6? What is that equal to? If you see a situation like this, you could basically add 3 and 6 and then make it negative. 3 plus 6 is 9, but this is going to be negative 9. But if this confuses you, you can always just use the number line. So we're going to start with negative 3, and we're going to subtract it by 6. So let's travel 6 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. So therefore, negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9. Try this one. What is negative 7 minus 6? 
7 plus 6 is 13. So this is going to be negative 13. So let's start with negative 7. We're going to travel 6 units to the left. And as you can see, it's going to give us the same result. Now, what is 6 minus negative 4? And also, what's 7 minus negative 2? Whenever you have two negative signs next to each other, you can make it equal to a positive sign. 6 minus negative 4 is the same as 6 plus 4, which is 10. And 7 minus negative 2 is 7 plus 2, which is 9. Now, what would you do if you see a problem with three negative signs? Go ahead and try that. Now, the first thing I would do is convert these two negative signs, which are right next to each other, into a positive sign. So negative 4 minus negative 8 is equal to negative 4 plus 8, which is the same as 8 minus 4, which turns out to be 4. So using a number line, I would focus on this portion. Now let's start with negative 4, and let's add 8 to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And as you can see, we get the same final answer of positive 4. So negative 4 minus negative 8 is 4. So try a similar example. What's negative 5 minus negative 6? So let's convert the two negative signs into a positive sign. So this is negative 5 plus 6, which is the same as 6 minus 5, and that's positive 1. So using a number line, let's add 6 to negative 5. So this is negative 4, negative 3, and this is going to go all the way to positive 1. So we're going to get the same answer. So now you know how to add and subtract positive and negative integers. By the way, for those of you who want to find more similar videos in pre-algebra, check out the description section of this video below and you can find my pre-algebra playlist.